What is up everyone? I'm gonna be giving you guys my quick review for Brightburn and this is gonna be spoiler free. Do not worry I'm not gonna ruin the movie for you here, but I'm sure a lot of you are aware of the premise like it's basically what if Superman turned evil? I mean it has a lot of core elements from Superman in this movie. It basically is a Superman movie a horror movie version like where there is a couple who lives on the farm, they find a child after it fell from the sky, they bring him in as their own, and he starts developing superpowers. And then they, you know, and they live in a small town in Kansas, which happens to be called Brightburn. I didn't even know that before seeing this movie. I'm like, oh, so that's, that's the name of the town. So instead of Smallville, it's Brightburn. Very interesting. And then, so yeah, I mean like, Right when I knew that this movie was coming, I'm like, I'm interested in where they, where they go with this. And they do go with it in a very interesting direction. And, um, and it's not as simple, like, I mean, I would imagine, like, like if it was going to be a horror movie version, I, I would, I would have had imagined that, what if Superman were raised by fucked up, like, people, you know what I mean? But they don't go in that direction. He, you know, this kid, Brandon, who is our weak, well, who is our Superman in this story, um, he has two very, um, two, you know, like, he is brought into a very homey, like, environment, like, with, you know, with this couple who has become his parents ever since they found him as a baby. And still, fucked up shit happens. <laughs> and believe me, and when... Like, you know how Superman just, you know, he's a good guy and he saves everyone and then he, there's a lot of things that he can do but he doesn't do? <laughs> Brandon, this kid Brandon does exactly that. Like, okay, what would happen if Superman did just let himself turn loose? You get a really good idea of how that would turn out in this movie. And, I mean, like, and I can, I think I can cover the abilities that the, the, that Brandon has developed in this movie so far. Like, obviously he flies, and his his uh, um, his skin is unbreakable, and he has super speed, and um, super strength, and heat vision. So those are basically a, a lot of, you know, like, not a lot, but most of Superman's powers that they've thrown into this movie. And, the, and what he does with those powers, I gotta say, it's fucked up and impressive too. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, I mean, I, I would say that if you enjoy, you know, like horror movies in general and you enjoy comic book movies in general like me, like who I enjoy both genres, I'd say you would have a fun time with this movie. I mean, it doesn't try to do anything more than to show us what would happen if Superman just go total ape shit. And what's really fucked up is that this happened while Brandon still has very good people who raised him. I mean, still, he didn't need fucked up people like the Luthers or anything like that. Or or, or a family like the Luthers. You know, like the, for him to go totally, you know, like bunkers. I mean, that's what kind of makes it scary. But at the same time, I probably would have gone in that direction. Like, you know, like where he's raised by, you know, people who are kind of abusive to him. Like where they just, you know don't or not really good to him but it's the totally opposite but yeah i gotta say with that all being said i really had a blast with this movie and i'm gonna give brightburn um i'm gonna give it uh three and a half chair spins out of five so here we go one two three and a half chair spins so i mean and i I just think it's a shame that it's not in the top three in the box office, but it's still, I mean, I thought it was going to have a bigger chance because of it was, you know, it would bring in both fans of both genres into this. Like, I'm just here to see a good horror movie. I'm just here to see how far this kid would go with Superman's powers. And he goes pretty far. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys enjoyed my review for this movie, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel and make sure you click that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.
Peace out, y'all. <laughs>